So how long have you lived in, in Resort Township? How many years? Oh, oh, I don't know, probably about 50 years or so, because I was born in Charlevoix County. Oh, okay. It was Bay Township, and that's just across the road down the ways. Charlevoix County is back of me. So what hospital were you born at? Were you I born in? I was born at home. Oh! All four of us were born at home. So you have four siblings? I don't have anybody anymore. You're the you're the last you're the matriarch. Well, I'm I'm something about to <laughs> tag along. <laughs> so, fondest memories? Do you have what? What's your fondest memory in your hundred years? I have no one fond memory. No one fond memory. No. Do you have any? The only thing I that I really spend time thinking about mm -hmm. is being on the farm. And wishing I had, wishing I had done more for my father and mother. Let you know, people make so much today about loving your parents and the kids today. Just do all of these things that I dislike, like the girls letting the boys use them. And I think if I could just tell them, your father and mother will be gone someday. Mm -hmm. And you won't be able to tell them. So. Yeah. So, what what do you think is the secret to a long life? Oh boy, a lot of people, and you wouldn't like to hear that answer. You better not put it in any news anyway. All right. Because I always say, well, I drink all the pickle juice. Like the pick, like dill pickle. Do you <laughs> no, really? No, not dill pickles. <laughs> No, I like dill pickles, but no, it's not. I like beet, pickled beets. Okay. I drink all that juice. I don't throw it away. I drink it. Pickle, you and drink sweet the pick pickle juice. I, I drink it. it I don't, huh? but I don't know that that has anything to do with I like that. Life. I think it's great. I just say it's by the grace of God that I, <laughs> Well, I think it has to be. I have nothing. I never in the world thought that I would be talking at nearly a hundred years old, or even volunteering. Well, things do change. When I went to school, it was farms. Mm -hmm. And now, the farms, the beautiful farms, beautiful barns, all gotta have houses for people. <laughs> so many women working. Isn't that pretty amazing? No, is that now that's that's I don't remember so many working so many women being it of course the more wars it goes on and all the boys go in the service, the women are going to have to take over. I hate to see them in in the service though. I mean where the actual fighting. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about volunteering? What do you like most about it? Just like to be with people, I guess. Uh huh. It's just something to do. It's interesting. It's interesting to just sit there and listen to what the rest of them are talking about. <laughs> In that women's resource, Jackie always says, she tells a good story. Haven't you got a story today? And I say, no, I haven't heard any good stories lately. Which is true. I haven't heard any. Do you have any? I don't have any. I wish I did. There, I remember going with my younger brother. You went fishing on Horton Creek with your younger brother? <laughs> oh no, we went. We were kids, and we went down, down the road. Cause you see, it was just a dirt road past our place for years and years. Mm -hmm. It wasn't tar grade like it is now, but we were going to go get. Put some trout. Well, I had to put the worm on the hook, and I, ah, I can't do that. <laughs> so you didn't do we it. We didn't. We didn't do any fishing. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the worm on the hook myself. Right? Well, I I always had a cat. I was always dragging a cat home when I was a kid. <laughs> I was the only one, probably. But I remember giving somebody gave my brother a cat, a red Persian. He was a beautiful cat. 
but kind of scrawny looking and I decided I would give him a bath. He just needed... Uh-oh. I guess you're not supposed to move cats. <laughs> it didn't hurt him, but I'll tell you, the bottom of that wash tub was so full of fleas, oh. you couldn't believe it. Oh. He didn't like the fact that he was getting a bath, but by golly, he didn't go around scratching either, because fleas jump on, you know, they'll bite you if they yeah, get on you. Yeah. Nuts. I don't know what I, I don't know what happened to that cat. Huh. It wasn't my cat. Whatever he did, he was clean at least when he yeah, started. He didn't have any more fleas. <laughs> well, it was in the winter time, so he. Jeez. But I read on the on the disinfecting thing afterwards. You're not supposed to bathe cats. <laughs> I remember one birthday, but I can't remember what birthday it was, it, whether I was nine years old or ten years old. And my mother made just a loaf cake, but in the corner, for me, she put the number of my birthday, mm -hmm. the cinnamon candies. And my oldest brother took that piece. Have a hundred candles on your cake? I have no idea. I have no idea what kind of a cake it's going to be. I you try. I try to find out things. I'll ask them, and they'll say, "Well, why do you want to know everything?" I said, "Whose birthday is it?" <laughs> I have enjoyed life. I can't say that I haven't. It most of. You figure the mistakes you made, you'll make them again if you had your life to make over or to live over, you'd do the same things because you don't have any control over it. Yeah. I'll say that Marcy, <laughs> Marcy has just wore me out. <laughs> you awful girls, giggling, giggling. <laughs>